Welcome back to another episode of iMovie Monday. Today, I want to show you 10 keyboard shortcuts you can use inside of iMovie. The first keyboard shortcut is Command I. And when you press these two keys together, you'll be prompted with an import box. And from here, you can choose what device you want to import your footage from. So if you have a memory card, it would pop up here, or you can choose anywhere else on your computer by selecting any of these outputs. And when you first open iMovie, you're prompted with all your projects here. So if you want to create a new one using a keyboard shortcut, you'll hit command and the N key together, and that will now give you a new project. So from here, you can just import the media and start to edit that project. Another keyboard shortcut, if you want to add this clip to the the end of the timeline rather than dragging it down what you could do is just hit the E key and it will add it to the end of the timeline and you can continue to do that for any of the other clips that you want to import and let's say you want to place a clip in between here rather than putting it at the end what you want to do is bring your playhead to the middle of the clip and then come up to the clip you want to import and then hit the W key so now that clip is imported in the middle of the clips rather than at the end of the clip. Now say you would like to cut off a piece of this clip here. Maybe it's too long for your liking so you can place your playhead wherever you want the cut to happen. And then from here you can hit command B. Now you can see that clip is split off. And now another keyboard shortcut once you've cut the clip is hit delete and that tail end of the clip is now removed from the timeline. If you want to add a voiceover recording to your clip what you can do is hit the V key and now you're prompted with all the voiceover tools here and you can just hit record and now it is creating a voice recording at the bottom here and once you're done just hit the stop and you can click done if you don't want the voiceover controls to still be here now let's say you've imported this clip here but you don't want it to be in the event anymore what you could do is hit command delete and now it's prompting us with this pop-up box here that says deleting the selected files will we'll remove them from your iMovie library. And then you can just hit delete and now you can see that clip is gone. And if you don't want a project here anymore, you can select it and do the same thing. Hold command and delete. And now that project is gone. And let's say you wanted to make a more precise edit. What you can do to move the playhead rather than using the mouse is hit the right arrow key to move one frame over at a time or hit the left arrow key to go back one frame at a time and that's an easy way to move the playhead one frame forward or backwards. So what I've done to this clip here is I've added a filter to it, so it's a cartoon filter, and I added a little bit of color grading, so if I wanna apply the same effect to this clip, what I can do is hold Command and the C key and come over to this clip and hit Option Command V, and now it has placed that same cartoon filter on here along with the color grading, and now this clip has the exact same adjustments that this clip has. And now a bonus keyboard shortcut I'll give you here is if you wanna erase something that you just did, you can hit Command Z and that will undo the effect that you just did. So now you can see the filter's gone off of this clip and it works for anything that you do. So if you deleted something by an accident, just hit Command Z and it will undo that move for you. And one more keyboard shortcut, just to give you an extra bonus to leave off with here, is if you hit the L key, the playhead will start playing and moving forward. And if you hit it again, it will move forward a little bit faster. And to stop this playhead from moving forward, you can hit the letter K, and it now has paused the clip. And if you wanna play it backwards, you can hit the J key and hit it again to go a little bit faster. So that's all I have for everybody today. Keyboard shortcuts will save you a lot of time in the long run. The more you can keep your hand off the mouse, the better it is for your edit. That way you don't have to take away your attention of trying to move the mouse around to a specific part in a clip or drag things in. You could just use those keyboard shortcuts that will save you time and help you just focus on the edit that you're working on. I will see you next Monday for another episode of iMovie Monday. Until then, keep it creative.